London isn't known for its swimming spots, but when it's 37 degrees outside, a brown pond can look like paradise. In Jamaica right now it's only 33 and here it's 37 and there's no AC anywhere so I think people are really struggling. You're from Germany, did yeah, you ever think you would see this sort of heat in London? No, uh, you, it feels like Africa or something. <laughs> Britain is feeling the full force of this heat wave and the novelty is already wearing off. You obviously enjoy it when you have it but it is a, definitely, definitely a, a marker of climate change. It's putting the UK's aged care and hospital systems under even greater stress. Some wards don't have air conditioning. Cade and Kavorm's baby Adea was born into stifling conditions. They had to bring their own fans. I had my mum fanning me with a handheld fan. I had my husband holding the fan right up to my face because I was sweating as I was pushing. Many workers were told to stay home as trains were cancelled due to fears about the rails buckling. Planes weren't much more reliable, the runway at Luton Airport melted and the workers who had to fix it probably weren't far behind. Clearly there's a link to climate change here. We're absolutely sure these events will become more and more frequent, more and more intensified and at longer durations. The UK has seen plenty of warm weather before, but the top 10 hottest years on record here all happened in the last two decades. So Britons might have to prepare themselves for a new way of living. A lot of our houses are not really set up for hot weather. Like, I think I know one person who has air conditioning in their house. Um, we've got kind of foil on our windows to stop the direct sunlight coming through. Spain's already dealt with several days of this, and fires have burnt out tens of thousands of hectares. Here, a man runs for his life from a ferocious blaze. Passengers on this train near Zamora had another scary experience when they were surrounded by flames. And in France, firefighters are still trying to control blazes in the southwest near Bordeaux as they face temperatures of more than 40 degrees. Now it's the UK's turn. If I may say so, these commitments around net zero have never been more vitally important as we all swelter under today's alarming <coughs> record temperatures. Summer here is usually something to savour. It's feared one day it'll be a season to dread. Nick Dole, ABC News, London.